Hey guys, Chris Collects Things back again. In today's video, we dive back into Shining Fates with this Cramorant Tin. So, without further ado, let's open this thing up and see if we can pull that Charizard that we have been so eagerly waiting for. Or some other Shinies. So, let's go. Uh, this tin I got online. Um... <laughs> obviously unless I got it in the store um, but yeah Cramorant I was looking for this I think I paid a little bit over for it five to ten dollars because this is the one I was missing and I kept missing the drops there's the lovely art I want to say I got it from collectors cash I could be wrong but yeah their prices were a little over but it wasn't too bad I also got the Dragapult and the Crobat V so I could stop complaining about that so here's the Cramorant one. I actually really like this shiny card. Sword and Shield number 86 for those keeping score at home. And there is a code card behind it. I know you're going to want that. I'm sorry. I'm going to make some future videos where I'm going to show you how to uh, upload <laughs> upload cards. Show you how to get cards basically in the trading card game online. I've learned myself because I haven't even dabbled in it yet. But that's going to be coming up in the future. Definitely some uh, deck building and stuff there because I really want to get into it. Maybe uh, me and Ryan at Game Essays can have some fun with that. So per the norm, you're guaranteed six packs in these special tins here. So that's very nice to see. We actually have two. We almost got all four artworks. We got, I think we're missing. Oh, no, we did get all four. I lied. Nice. I thought we were missing one, but we have Corvanite, Toxtricity. Two Dragapults, yes, I know his name now, and Shiny Charizard. Per our norm, we saved the Charizard for last. So without further ado, I think I'm going to do a Dragapult first. And let's pull some magic here, guys. Like, we're hoping for some, some big pulls here. Because Shining Fates is so fun, and there's still a lot to be had, man. I know, uh... They call it a trading card game for a reason, so this past weekend I actually met up with Brian in person. I had to be in Boston for a uh, code card there. For some procedure for my son. Um, there's a little like, white on that card there, the second card. looks a little... <laughs> Watch that be our rare one. I don't think it is actually though, because we're going to put it in the front, but that looks a little jank there. Let's flip it over. I'm going to guess fire, because I always want to pull fire. Grass. All right, Luxio. So yeah, me and Ryan did a Hidden Fates uh, booster battle, which you'll probably see before this video, but if not, check that out. I'll put that up here. And the cards, uh, that, that was a lot of fun. Uh, me and Ryan have some good chemistry, I feel like, so. I also think we're a little funny, so. <laughs> Comment on that. Reverse Luxray Rare, and boom! Starting this off strong with a full art Piers. Look at that card, man. That thing is glorious. I haven't got to Piers yet um, in the actual game, but 69 of 72. Got a lot of glisten because I got my like light on my camera here, my phone. Man, that's a beautiful looking card right there. And as I'm thinking, like, hey, where's your sleeves? I know, right? I didn't bring my sleeves out. Amateur hour. So, we're going to sleeve Piers off screen there. I actually got a uh, card sorter that should be coming in, so that'll be a nice easy way. I'll showcase that like to organize your cards. Hopefully it works, works out good for me. Um, so yeah, let's go Let's go with the Corviknight. Piers, wow, that, that was a banger of a first pack. We got a Reverse Rare, Luxray, and a Piers. Yeah, that's... Can't ask for a better start than that, people. Um, so we got the code card. Obviously, it's a white one. These packs are a little jank, though. I've seen like some whitening, whitening on like the sides of this card too. I was like, what's up with that? I don't know. Quality controller. I don't know. Sorry, I hit the camera there. Uh, comment if you like my new background. I'm gonna start something here. I'm gonna guess water on this one for some reason. 
I want to start have a cool, interesting background. I feel like everybody uses like ETB boxes. Like I want to do something different, so I got pins in the background because um, you get all these pin collections and whatnot. And I also have like my old gym badges, which I'll showcase in a future video um, from my my playing days at the old Toys R Us in the Pokemon League. So summon a bench, summon a bench, a Volcanion Reverse. I think I still need this card. Yan Mega is less than stellar, but I think I needed that reverse for Volcanion, so I will take that. So yeah, just try to start something different here, get a different look. I'm gonna might, might put a picture of myself there or something, my logo, not myself. You know, I don't really, really like. Let's go, Toxtricity. I'm also gonna. Yeah, I have like some stands that are ordered, so I can put like a stand there and like showcase like the top poles and stuff. I know I've, I've, I've seen some of my favorite YouTubers, shout out to TCG Grey and do stuff like that. And I also got another mat ordered with my, my logo on it, so. Kind of trying to up the production here, you know, get a little classier and more uniquely me, you know. All right, one, two, three, four. Got to step up your game, man, because you got, you got lots of competition out there. Uh, lightning, I'm feeling. Fire. Should he get fire? Oh, and I think we're going to have another fire pull. Oh, man. Fire never usually disappoints me. Ball guy, rusted sword, shootle, more packs. Rowl, Q Fun, I'm getting excited, people. Spinarak. Boom, baby shiny coughing. Very nice. This is actually one of my favorite ones. I like the light blue coughing. It it just looks gorgeous right there. It's a good looking card right there. And behind it. And in D to D V. Nice V card. I actually Ryan just gave me one of these when I met up with him, so now I have two. <laughs> I guess I can trade it. Wow. That's some some good pulls there. I promise I'm gonna sleeve those after this video. I didn't bring my sleeves out. I was like, what kind of amateur uh, production are you doing here, buddy? All right, Dragapult. So man, this tin hasn't disappointed. The Shining Fates tin six packs do not disappoint. Hidden Fates harder pulls. I just like the I like the instant gratification of the shinies in this because I feel like you're like, almost guaranteed to get like big pulls in these videos, man. One, two, three, four. And I've been waiting for a while to open this one up. So, uh, Fighting Energy. Psychic. I almost said Psychic. Yell Towel. Lux. Bloats. Cack. Horse. Cuf. Chew. Yan. Decidueye Reverse. We have that one. And a Zarude Sandstorm. I think I have the Decidueye Reverse, but I'll still take it. All right, so last two packs. Um, we've already hit a full art trainer here. We've got a baby shiny. Um, what else do we have? We have the full art trainer. Oh no, that's just the uh, the promo card. Obviously, we got a promo card with it. So historically, second to last pack magic is our best friend. So without further ado, let's summon the Charizard and see if he will make an appearance from his own pack. All right. Oh man, if I pull Charizard, man, this will be my pinnacle of Shining Fate success in this video. We've already done so well. I just like I can't. I can't see how like we can do any better. I guess I can see that, but uh, energy steel. I don't know. Electric, Wax, Cram from a Cram Tin, Rotom, Horse, Cuf, Chew, Yan, Pex, Boom, another Baby Shiny, Score Bunny, very, very nice, and a Galarian Wheezing. I have a bunch of these, but I guess technically it's a double banger because we've got two hollows, so. Double bangers and mash. Very nice, very nice good pulls here all right so last pack magic we have the Charizard uh, here's hoping people here's hoping we can pull the Charizard from here let's summon him again all right let's do it I'm excited I mean uh, so shiny fates is so fun I still got an ETB to open so that'll be a future video um, 
obviously the two premium boxes. And I got uh, eight pack of the pin collection. I'm gonna give Ryan four, maybe he'll open them with us. If he'll grace us with his presence on the channel, maybe we can do a pack battle with him, I don't know. But that will definitely be opened in the future. Future, future. Again, look at these cards, they're a little jank. Like that's a little disappointing, but. Tins just been sitting like the cars been sitting in a tin, so I don't know what else could happen. Ah, fire because we need it. Electricity, I like electricity too. Elder Goss, Dartrix Lestrange, Crams, Snum on a Bench, Snum on a Bench, Horsey, Rowl, more packs, Spin, Boom, Slizzle Peed, Baby Shiny, thank you, and our holographic Frost Moth. I, I might have a reverse, and I might not, I might need the hollow, so we'll take it. Boom, another baby shiny though. So, looking at our cards, which I swear I'm gonna sleeve. I just guess I wasn't prepared. I thought of everything else I set up for the video, and of course, boom. So, baby shiny, Sizzlepeed, Score Bunny, Coughing. I'm really happy with that one. And D to DV, and the full art peers is our coup de gras right there. Crammer Rant obviously comes with it, but very nice. So, guys. Should you buy these tins? Um, yes, 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 absolutely. Try to get them for MSRP, about like $30. Uh, I guess if you gotta pay a little over, that's fine too, because you're just guaranteed the most fun. These are the most fun tins to open. Check out my uh, tier list of different products, products, different sets you can buy with, I do with Ryan. I'll, I'll post that up here, and that'll help tell you like what you should look for in the wild or online so without further ado guys thanks for tuning in and i will catch you next time take care